This is your wife and son? No, and son. Okay. It's bad. Check the pulses. Yes, sir. <laughs> when was the last time you were here with them? Or talked to them or anything like that? Um. Gotta call her parents. I'm so far, I, think. I knew something was bad. I ran out. I knew it was really bad. <laughs> My, my boy over there, I could see it was. <laughs> so is there anybody that you can think of that we need to talk to tonight? Is there a name that comes to mind? <clears throat> and I know you have to see Paul and Maggie during the night times when you're attempting to go to sleep. I'm sure they come and visit you. I'm sure. All day and every night. But I'm innocent. I would never, under any circumstances, hurt my wife Maggie. And I would never, under any circumstances, hurt my son Paul Paul.本视频素材由罗恩·克莱姆提供，频道链接在视频下方，观众朋友们大家好，欢迎来到紧张时刻。二零二一年六月七日晚上十点零六分，南卡罗来纳州克莱顿县警方接到报警电话，一名男子电话
or talk to them or anything like that? Um. It was earlier tonight. Uh, I, don't, I don't know the exact time, but okay. I left. I was probably gone an hour and a half from my mom's, and I saw them about 45 minutes before that. Okay. I rode around with Paul for two hours this afternoon in the, in the pickup truck. That's your son, Paul? Okay. Somebody going to check him? Yes, sir. They, they've already checked him. <laughs> they did check him? Yes, sir. This is official that they're dead? Yes, sir. That's what it looks like. 好家伙，男子是第三次向警员确认自己的妻儿正式被宣告死亡。嗯 ，I'm sorry. No, no, you're fine. I'm very sorry. 随后，男子竟非常诡异的连续向警员道歉，仿佛自己有什么过错似的。Gotta call her parents. What, what's what's her name? Her name is Maggie Murdoch. Margaret Brandstetter Murdoch. How you doing? What's her birthday? 哎呀，不知道观众朋友们有没有发现，在刚刚发现自己妻儿已经不幸遇难的情况下，前一秒还沉浸在悲痛中的男子，突然像换了个人似的，居然还对前来的支援警员打了阵招呼。我们再来看一下。How you doing? What's her birthday? Um, nine fifteen sixty eight. Okay, and what's your son's first name? You said Paul. Paul Terry Murdoch. And what's his birthday? Jason, um, if you have anybody coming through town, if you could stop and pick up that tent, I see lights and off in the distance. What are they covering them up? I got some getting dressed now, Sheriff. I'll have somebody stop and grab it. <laughs> Tell them they don't have to do that. They don't need to preserve what we can. Six five three. Where's it at? I'm in town. I should try to be Del Day because he's gonna be the only one that's got access. What's Paul's birthday? Gabby. Right um. Um. April fourteenth. Um. Nineteen ninety nine, sir. Put it up as wide as you can. That's fine. You said '99, sir. He was born in '99. He was born April 14th, 1999. Okay. 和男子十分激动的情绪相反，现场出警的警员表现得极其专业冷静。事实上，他是一名警司，第一时间让同事保护好案发现场，同时对男子进行重要信息的笔录。What's your What's your first name, sir? My name is Alex Richard Alexander Murdoch. Richard Alexander Murdoch. <laughs> you familiar with the location? No. Hey, Cody, come around the truck and then go to the building. I see uh, quite a few tire tracks in here. Were any of these you going in and out? Um, no, I came in here and I left one time and I came back. Okay. <clears throat> but the rest of them, maybe. Okay. From earlier, but okay. Only two were mine. Did you go out this way at all? No. No, it's right. Hey, hey, stay, stay here, stay here, stay here. 最后，在警员封锁调查现场的过程中，男子狗舍中的狗一直在不停的吠叫着，仿佛是有什么话想对警方诉说啊。不幸遇难的妻子名为麦琪，五十二岁；遇难的儿子名为保罗，二十二岁；而男子名为艾利克斯·莫多，五十二岁，是当地著名的律师。不仅如此，莫多整个家族也是当地享有盛誉的法律家族。兰道夫·莫多的三代人在一九二零年至二零零六年期间连续担任该州第十四司法区的检察官。一九一零年，兰道夫·莫多在南卡罗来纳州汉普顿创立了民事诉讼公司，即现在的帕克法律集团。该公司目前专门从事人身伤害诉讼。当地警方重案组探员在案发当晚第一时间对莫多进行了详细询问。All right, um, 
as I stated, I'm David Owen and uh, Laura Rutland with Colleton County, and I'm with SLED. I hate to have to do this. I but, understand. Yeah. I totally yeah. understand. Yeah. So you don't you don't have any problem yeah. with it. So um, just start the top. Take your time. Um, like when I came back here, mm -hmm. I mean, I pulled up and I could see them, and you know, I knew something was bad. I ran out. I knew it was really bad. <laughs> my my boy over there, I could see. It was. <laughs> and I ran over to Maggie and uh, actually I think I tried to turn Paul over first um uh you know I tried to turn him over and uh I don't know I figured it out um uh, his cell phone popped out of his pocket I started to try to do something with it thinking maybe but then I put it back down really quickly um, then I went to my wife and I uh, I mean I could see mm -hmm. <laughs> did you touch Maggie at all I did I touched them both okay. I tried to take I mean I tried to do it as limited as possible mm -hmm. but I, I tried to take their pulse on both of them mm -hmm. <clears throat> And, um, you know, I called 911 um, pretty much right away, and she was very good. Um, <clears throat> I talked to her. Um, I told her I was going to get off the phone to call some family members. <coughs> I did that. Um, so is there anybody that you can think of that we need to talk to tonight is there a name that comes to mind i mean i can't tell you anybody that i'm overly suspicious of <coughs> off the top of my head okay you know um i mean this is such a stupid thing i'm even embarrassed to say it but it just didn't make any sense i just hired a guy out here mm-hmm he told Paul a story the other day about how when he was in high school, he got in a fight with some black guys. And the FBI undercover team observed him fighting those guys and put him on an undercover team with three Navy SEALs. And that their job was to kill radical black panthers. Now, I really don't think this guy, you know, mm -hmm is probably the person but that's just so freaking yeah that's kind of far-fetched story it's weird but he was off today okay he took his daddy to the doctor what's his name cb row yes sir ah thank you mm -hmm. Bye. anybody else want some gum no, you don't have any water do you danny I'm sorry, I don't need it. If you, behind Danny's head, is a case of water. It's not a big deal. Yeah, I got some right here. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah. Good. Yeah. What? <laughs> no, let me. Uh, we're finished. Let me come out. Anyway, I'll be here when he gets here. Hmm. 
No, don't let him come up here. <sighs> okay, yeah. I think we're about done. <clears throat> All right, thank you. So, I'm sorry. Buster. 在探员询问莫多的整个过程中，莫多是失声痛哭多次，但是就是没见到什么眼泪啊。在案发的第三天，探员对莫多进行第二次询问。Take it down. Go. Tissue. I'm sorry. You go. I mean, she was a wonderful girl and a wonderful wife. And she was a great mother. Uh, <clears throat> she, you know, she didn't work. And, and, and <clears throat> she always said it was her job. Since she was privileged enough not to work, she was going to make sure she took care of me and the boys. And I mean, she did everything. <clears throat> she did absolutely everything. <clears throat> I'm sorry. No, no, you have every right to do that. And, and you definitely saw a traumatic picture, and uh, and I know it's not hard, or not not easy. I know it's hard. Uh, and. and Sitting here talking today is is tough. <laughs> it's just so bad. They did it so bad. <laughs> He's such a good boy too. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Go ahead. <clears throat> 然而，随着警方的进一步调查，此案迎来了惊天大逆转。越来越多的证据将杀人凶手的矛头指向了哭得最伤心的著名律师莫多。案发现场，在受害人麦琪身上并未发现手机，但是警方通过查找我的 iPhone 功能，成功在离案发地不远处发现了麦琪的手机。通过刑侦技术手段，警方发现当晚莫多的皮卡车恰好也路过抛弃麦琪手机的路段，同时在莫多手机中发现案发时间附近大量拨给妻子麦琪的通话记录。然而，在麦琪的手机端却将这些通话记录全部删除了，因此警方怀疑莫多涉嫌篡改证据来帮自己脱罪。而最最有力的证据是受害人保罗在案发前几分钟曾经用手机拍下的一段视频录像。Get it, get it. Quit, Cash. Okay. 哎呀，博主看到此处全身汗毛都竖起来了呀！背景此时出现莫多的声音，询问保罗怎么了。保罗说了一句：“没事，爸爸。”而此前，在警方的数月的调查期间，莫多都坚称案发当晚自己绝对没有去过狗舍。我们再来看一下回放。视频中，莫多所说的“爸爸”就是这只狗狗。It's a guinea. This is a chicken. Come here, Bob. Come here, Bob. Come here, Bob. Catch. Quick. 随后，我们又多次听到莫多的声音。莫多在铁一般的证据面前，仍然尝试为自己辩解，向警方承认了自己先前谎称当晚没有去过狗舍。但是是因为怕承认到过案发现场以后会给自己招惹很多不必要的麻烦，怕警方会怀疑自己是杀人凶手，因此才会讲出善意的谎言。二零二二年七月十四日，莫多被警方逮捕，并被控两项谋杀罪。二零二二年七月二十日，莫多当庭拒不认罪，法官纽曼拒绝其保释请求。二零二三年一月二十三日，莫多谋杀案的审判正式开始。这场审判一直持续了约六个星期，直到二零二三年三月二日，陪审团经过长达三小时的激烈争辩，最终达成一致意见。Uh, have you reached a verdict? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We have. Is it unanimous? Yes, sir. It is. All right. If you will pass it up. 
to the clerk who will pass it to me. And you may be seated. And it will rise. Madam Clerk, you may publish the verdict. The State versus Richard Alexander Murdoch, defendant. Indictment for murder. 这位褐色头发的便是默多的另一个儿子巴斯特。巴斯特参加了父亲每一场听证会和审判。Guilty verdict signed by the four lady. 负责此案的检察官在法庭上表示，默多由于十多年来一直非法挪用律所资金。并且不断欺诈客户的案件赔偿金等总计超过数百万美元，其担心很快自己的违法行径就会暴露，于是通过在社区内将自己塑造成一个因意外失去妻儿的男人来博取同情，混淆金融案调查人员的视线，进而为自己脱罪。主审此案的法官纽曼选择次日宣判杀人凶手莫多的刑期。二零二三年三月三日。法官纽曼在四十岁的儿子刚刚因意外去世不久、极度悲伤的情况下，为所有人呈现了一场精彩绝伦的判决。A lawyer, a person from a respected family who has controlled justice in this community for over a century, a person whose Grandfather's portrait hang at the back of the courthouse that I had to have ordered removed in order to ensure that a fair trial was had by both the state and the defense. It's also particularly troubling,、uh, Mr. Murdoch, because. <coughs> As a member of the legal community and a well-known member of the legal community,、uh, you've practiced law before me, and we've seen each other at various occasions throughout the years. And it was especially heartbreaking for me to see you、um, go on, go in the media from being a A grieving father who lost a wife and a son to being the person indicted and convicted of killing them. I don't question at all the、uh, decision of the state not to pursue、uh, the death penalty. But as I sit here in this courtroom and look around the many、um, portraits of judges and other court officials, and reflect on the fact that over the past century, your family, including you, have been prosecuting people here in this courtroom, and many have received. The death penalty, probably for lesser conduct, but within your own soul, you have to deal with that. <clears throat> And I know you have to see Paul and Maggie during the night times when you're attempting to go to sleep. I'm sure they come and visit you. I'm sure. And every night, yeah, I'm sure, and they will continue to do so, and and reflect on the last time they looked you in the eyes, as you looked the jury in the eyes, and if you opt to do so, it, that, it's on you. I, you're not compelled to say anything, but you have the opportunity to do so. And I tell you again, I respect this court, but I'm innocent. I would never, under any circumstances, hurt my wife Maggie, and I would never, under any circumstances, hurt my son Paul Paul.
Well, it, and it might not have been you. It, it might have been uh, the monster you become. Anything further? No, sir. All right, Mr. Murdoch, I sentence you to the State Department of Corrections on each of the murder indictments in the murder of your wife, Maggie Murdoch, I sentence you for the term of the rest of your natural life for the murder of Paul Murdoch, whom you probably love so much. I sentence you to prison for murdering him for the rest of your natural life. Those sentences will run consecutive. That is the sentence of the court, and you are remanded to the State Department of Corrections. 二零二三年三月十日，默多向南卡罗来纳上诉法院为自己谋杀的指控和判决提交上诉。二零二三年五月二十四日，默多再次被联邦指控非法挪用律所资金、欺诈客户赔偿金。非法洗钱，总金额超过八百七十万美元。二零二三年九月二十一日，默多在法庭上对自己的联邦指控当庭认罪。二零二四年四月一日，联邦法官判决默多金融犯罪的刑期为四十年。此次案件在全美引起了轩然大波。观众朋友们，你们对此案又有什么看法呢？目前默多的作案工具，也就是此案中的直接证据，仍未被找到。你们认为默多是真正的杀人凶手吗？他的上诉会成功吗？请在评论区留言。But I'm innocent. I would never, under any circumstances, hurt my wife Maggie, and I would never, under any circumstances, hurt my son Paul Paul.